Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to show you how we can test if somebody is holding a certain item. So, uh, let's first demonstrate, I'm holding nothing, nothing is happening right now, I'm holding stone, still nothing happens, I'm holding this blaze rod, nothing happens, this blaze rod, still nothing happens. Ooh, this is a blaze rod, it can break dirt, let's check. Yes, it can break dirt, but this one it didn't say anything, and as you can see it doesn't break any dirt. And this one also breaks dirt. Hmm. How did I do this? It has something to do with this over here, as you can see. Very cool, right? Okay, let's go into creative. There we go. And let's check it out. What is this command? So here we have the execute command. So it will execute, uh, which do which means just means it gives a comparator output if it's true. Right? So if it says, so if this is true, then it gives a comparator output. It's just that uh, entity, which is me in this case, because it says at p, it can also be my name, of course, but this is nearest player. And then uh, <laughs> if I have the MBT, MBT data, which is just data, of uh, holding the selected item with the ID Minecraft Blaze Rod, right? So if I have the Minecraft Blaze Rod in my hand, uh, one actually, if I have one blazer in my hand, so if there were two, I would probably not get this uh <coughs> the output right, and it has to have the tag can destroy minecraft dirt so that that's about it, so this one, as you can see, may break dirt, so that's just m b t it's as at the bottom it says m b t one tags, which is just can destroy dirt, right? This one also has that, has that, but also has a burst log, but it doesn't matter because it has the dirt one. These, uh, this one only has the burst log, so it doesn't have the dirt, and this one has nothing at all, right? And this is just the title uh, stuff. So I display a title on my screen with the text, this is a blaze rod, color yellow, and uh, underlined, right? And this one is a subtitle. Here we go, subtitle, text, I can break dirt, color red, which is bold through. Okay. Which makes this happen, right? I also made this one over here, just uh, to show you what else you can do with the execute command. Here we go, more execute stuff. So let's give myself some ice. Here I have some ice, there we go. And if I place this ice over here, it will disappear and the door will open, right? So that's also pretty cool. It works infinite amount of times, as you can see. And it just works by uh, checking this block if it's if it has ice over here. So now it has ice, so it gives an output. And it uh, well, it sets the block to stone immediately, and it sets a different block to redstone down below over here. It sets that block to redstone, which opens the door. And then it uh, puts it back to air, so you can try it again, right? So yeah, the execute command is a very, very helpful command actually. I know, don't know if you can actually see it. Yeah, there we go. Let me, you can see the... There we go, we saw a very short pulse. Because of course, it immediately turns into stone. So then it's not ice anymore, so it doesn't have to give a pulse out anymore. Right? Pretty easy actually, and uh, yeah, there's lots of other things you can do with the execute commands. It's really one of the best commands there, there are, especially map map making. So uh, if you want, uh, I have some commands down in the description, and a site where you can just create your own commands with this. So uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. So until then, mm, bye bye. <laughs>